Hi, 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 this is Bernie, as always, talking to you from beautiful San Diego. And this is our Ansel Freedom Cast number 11. And this one is about how to use virtual drives in your Ansel. So here is our Ant-Man. And we've already have uh, created one antlet named Kiki. Um, it's currently stopped. So I just click on the Kiki antlet and I have my antlet details window. And um, I have uh, two tabs here. One is for snapshots. I don't have any snapshots for that one yet. And the other one is for virtual disks. So I can just create a new disk. I name it uh, Disky. Okay. And I'll give it like whatever, eight gigs in size. And I can create it either in my antlets pool or in my HDD pool. The HDD is the HDD add-on. So for those of you who bought Ansel with the HDD add-on, um, which is also an internal add-on, right? You have four drives then in your Ansel. So the Antlets pool is on the two main SSDs. It's mirrored. And the uh, HDD is also two mirrored HDDs, mm, also internal, and they give you additional storage. So in this case, we create it on our main Antlets pool, and we just create this disk. So it's gonna be created. It's gonna take a few seconds to write all those eight, um, gigabytes but don't worry it won't take up all the space on your drive we get the success message here um, it's just eight gigabytes you can store in it but it will only take up the space when you write something into it so we got that disk now and uh, we can close that we can start our antlet and um, I pull my terminal window here and uh, I SSH into the antlet and what I'm doing here is like I use this feature here to SSH directly from my Mac in this case same will be possible from a Windows PC um, SSH directly into the antlet without having to go through my Ansel so that's a new feature in Antman 0.6 so I just type my password I'm in the antlet now it's named Kiki, so you see that here and you see that here. Um, and uh, now I can do a DF disk free, so it shows me all the free space on my disks. And I do the dash H for human readable. So I see I have my, uh, my antlets Kiki here, but I don't have the disk that we created. That's because the disk is not formatted yet. So we do an MKFS for make file system x4. x4 is the default file system for Linux. And then we use the device virtual disk A. And virtual disk A, that's the one that has just been created. So if we have more than one disk associated with our inlet, it would be VDA, VDB, VDC. So we just formatted it and now we can create a directory like uh, disk key, right? And then, oh, it already exists. And then we can mount the device VDA. We just formatted that one as disk key, right? So now it's mounted. And then we do the disk free dash human readable again. And we see our virtual drive A, it's mounted to disk key. And it has those, um, those 7.4 uh, gigs which corresponds to the eight gigabytes that we created it with yeah so that's how easy it is and um, you can click on here and you can uh, add more disks or delete the disks or anything like that okay so that's our new cool virtual disk features I hope you enjoyed it if you like the video if it helps you please like it please leave your comments and um, have fun with your Ansel. Bye-bye.